The outside surfaces of most all models contain some amount of raised or recessed detail. In my video on hull plating for small scale ships, I presented a step by step description of two techniques for creating raised panel detail. The first utilized the more common method that relies on the buildup of thicknesses of lacquer primer. Here I use this technique to simulate the overlap joints on the rear fuselage of this 32nd scale Hawker Tempest, as well as the wing root area. The second method employs an opposite approach by reducing material from the adjacent panel. Using this method along with custom stencils or guides opens up a number of possibilities. The overlapping panel detail on the rudder and elevators of this old 32nd scale Revell P47 was done with this technique. Another way to create a raised panel is to just use the tape itself. 3M fine line tape was used under the primer for the raised surface around the waist blister on this 48 scale PBY. Letraset narrow width graphic tape was used under the primer to simulate the rib tape on this 72nd Boeing 314. The additional texture on the surface was done with a dry coat of lacquer primer. Buried under a solid coat of lacquer primer, these examples have remained stable for over 20 years. To keep a raised panel extremely sharp, when I want to simulate a removable panel, I use silver mylar tape over the primer just before final painting. Applying the tape at this time results in an extremely sharp internal angle, which helps give definition to the raised panel. The mylar tape has no surface texture and can be embossed to simulate fastener details, so it's a perfect choice. Fine copper wire fared in with cyanoacrylate cement can be used to create more pronounced fabric cover control surfaces. In many cases, engraving can help simulate the illusion of separate details without actually having to go through the exercise of creating the individual parts. One example would be to use engraving to define the separation of aircraft control surfaces. Due to the limitations of the molding process, kit detail around control surfaces can look very shallow. Using an instrument like this allows the development of undercut detail that is impossible to mold. The result moves the line of demarcation further inside the gap around the control surface and provides an illusion of thin overlying metal as well as extending the control surface contour. In the case of this PBY, the illusion is enhanced by scribing the end of the wing to correspond to the engraving. Using the same instrument as in the above example, you can go around the base of any detail to create a separation. With a little imagination, you can fashion all sorts of blades that can be used to accomplish any number of tasks. The precise depression around the wheel well of this 32nd scale Hawker Tempest was created by modifying a modeling knife blade so that there was a cutting portion ground in at a 90 degree angle to a flat surface that acted as a guide and a safe edge. The heavy coat of primer helped in establishing an extremely sharp finish line. Hopefully this video, along with the video on hull plating, will spark some of your creative thinking and ingenuity to find different ways to simulate surface detail.